So hello, 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 and welcome to the Ant and Key Show. Welcome. <laughs> um, welcome to our YouTube channel. We're super excited about um, everything that's been happening. We just announced that we will be on the Kelly Clarkson show. We're super excited. Yes. Um, I keep saying super excited because yeah, I am. <laughs> we are. We're very excited. Okay, let's just. Very. <laughs> Um, and so we kind of want to talk about our story, how this happened, yeah. right? Um, so, um, when we met, I was a leasing consultant at your apartment community, mm -hmm. and I leased you an apartment. You did. And it was cool, really nice girl, found out she was an AKA. And I was like, oh shoot. And I said, my girlfriend is one. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony I, was in a whole relationship. <laughs> a whole relationship at the time. And so that was just it. And then a few months later, I was no longer in a relationship. And um, we decided to hang out. November 9th was our first like time out. I considered it a date. <laughs> and um, she didn't necessarily consider it a date, but I didn't really find that out until later on. But. It was a date to me, we went to True Flavors. Yeah. Um, I actually just found out which show it was because I thought it was a whole other date that was. Yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> I, had but I had to update him. Yeah, yeah. And so that was cool. Um, but we had one date that was like really cool for me. It was like a, a moment when I realized I really liked you. Mm -hmm. And it was the night that we went to this like tempura restaurant. Um, downtown and I wanted to try something different. <laughs> show her that I was cultured. And <laughs> we went to this restaurant and um, it was not the best experience. Yeah, it's probably actually the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm usually really good at picking out restaurants, but that was the absolute um, worst experience that um, I've had. And it was really expensive <laughs> for such a bad experience. Um, but we had a good time. But we had a really good time and good that time. was the moment. That changed it for me because even in the midst of like a really tough experience, you made it such a good time. Mm -hmm. Like all the jokes, like we have inside jokes from that night. Yeah. And um, that was huge. That was in November 2018. Mm -hmm. um, and so and at, the, at the top of the Durham, at the top of the Durham Hotel is where, and that was that night, like that I shared with you that I liked you. Mm -hmm. And I, I really wanted to kind of be more serious. And that's when everything took a turn, because uh, that's when I found out we were just hanging out. We weren't dating. We weren't right. going on dates. Anthony called them dates. I called them hangouts. And so what'd you tell me when I uh, told you how I felt? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> no, I told Anthony that, you know, I don't really do the whole dating thing. Um, I like where we were um, being friends. So, I just so much didn't do relationships. It wasn't a thing for me. Why? Go ahead. Share with the people. Why did you not want to be in a relationship with me? Okay, well, not just. But <laughs> <laughs> I was just more. I was more scared to be in a relationship. Um, not that I really had my heart broken or really been in a relationship because I only been in one. But um, the thought of opening up my heart to someone was just not. A thing, no matter how deep inside. Like I, I did know I liked Anthony at that time, but I wasn't gonna tell him. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I was like, no, no. Like we can, we can still do this thing, like hanging out as friends, but it can't be more than this. Yeah, and I was like, low key more. You know that moment <laughs> where like your heart drops like into your stomach and almost comes, like you almost poop it out, like. I was, <laughs> it was painful because I was so sure that because we had such a good time, we would laugh, like it was mm -hmm. incredible. And you did not want to be in a relationship. And I was like, yo, what? Yeah. But we still hung out a little bit. We did. Like, we kept kind of hanging out. And this, you know, after that point, she was kind of fighting, paying for stuff. And I mean, me paying for stuff. She was trying to let me, even though I was kind of like, yeah, I'm still going to pay for stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, and we continued to be friends. We didn't really hang out a whole lot for a little bit. Yeah. Like, there was a short period of time we didn't really hang out a whole lot. We still communicate. Um, and then about like, April, May, 
-hmm. of 2019 we started hanging out for real again. Yeah, you slid in my DMs. I, <laughs> we were always in each other's DMs. <laughs> And when I wasn't thinking about her, she would be she would be hitting me up so much more. Like I was no, it's the truth. It's the truth. If I like if I was doing my own thing, because I was dating, you know, I was dating other women. Like, you plenty, know, plenty of women. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's calm down. <laughs> <laughs> like I was dating, and then she would be just around and hey, hey, when we, when we gonna hang out kind of thing. That is true. Okay, yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, um, we had one particular date that was huge from, like, that changed everything. Really, our relationship, um, was when we went to the Unscripted. Mm -hmm. Went to the Unscripted, and it was a good time. I was supporting my boy, um, Mike, he was DJing, mm -hmm. and it was a good time. She danced on me, y'all. Like a holy dance. Mind you, mind you, a like, holy dance. yeah, I was so surprised because I was so afraid she was a prude, but no, no, won't that holy. And <laughs> so she danced on me. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? She, I'm like, okay. So she got that. And so we're sitting we're in this like lounge couch part of the um, venue. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I put my hand, you know, All just right. lower back. You know what I'm saying? Just to see what her vibe was. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was on my butt. It, mm -hmm. I wanted to not say that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Cut. It was. <laughs> and she put her hand on my leg. It started rubbing my leg. And I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> All right. And so... The end of that night is when we first kissed. Mm -hmm. you, he jumped me. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. I gave her a kiss on the cheek right here. Boom. Nope. Boom. It was like three. So like one, two, one, three. two, three. One, two, one, two three. three. Mm -hmm. And she turned around and swallowed my face. All right. That's not true. That's what happened. That's not true. That's what happened. That's what happened. That, I even, that didn't, doesn't even sound like me. Yeah. Well, I know Kiara. Y'all don't know. <laughs> she swallowed my face. And so... <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened and um that was kind of changed everything around um for her um because during the summer like we were hanging out more after that whole moment but um because i had talked to her actually no it didn't change everything for you because i had talked to her she was like we can meet me to talk you know sent me that message and i was like oh god what is this going to be about and i asked her like, you know, what is it about? We came, I came here, we're having a conversation. And she's just like, pretty much, she beats around the bush for a long period of time and then was like, so, like, we can't necessarily do that. I just feel like you're gonna catch feelings. And I was like, what? What do you mean? And so I'm like dumbfounded in this moment. I'm like, this girl swallows my face. And then tells me that we are just friends and she doesn't do relationships because she just don't do relationships. And I'm like, girl, uh, listen, okay? I, listen, I ain't catching feelings all year. And so it was just, we would, then became friends who kissed. <laughs> it was that. And I was cool. Like, I was cool. Um, and I was dating. Like, you know, I was cool. But she ended up catching feelings, sharing with me, oh, now she got these feelings. Like, like, like she was like throwing hints. You started throwing hints. Mm -hmm. You started sure. throwing hints. And you said, sure? Sure. You were. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh my God. She was throwing hints. This is his story. This is my, this is our story. <laughs> That's the, the video is our story. Okay. She was throwing hints and then Tell them when you told me and what you told me. Um, so there's an event at our apartment complex where Anthony, you know, where he worked in the office. Um, and his, our very close friend, a mutual friend of ours, he grabbed me and was like, okay, so what are you and Anthony doing? Like, what's going on? And I was just like, you know, honestly, um, I've been trying to figure it out, but I, or, you know, trying to figure out a way to tell Anthony that I actually really do like him. Um, I had like made a list a night or two before, like 
just going in like, wow, I really like Anthony. Like he's marking a lot of things off of my list. Um, and he's like, okay, you need to go tell him right now. And I was like, no, like I'm just gonna wait for the perfect time. And he's like, if you don't go tell him, I'm gonna go tell him. I was like, all right. So grab Anthony. Um, we went on a walk, a walk around my apart the apartment complex and everything I thought I was gonna say did not come out of my mouth. Actually, it was, it was terrible. It was actually really terrible. For me to be a communication major undergrad, I have no communication skills at all. <laughs> I was trying to tell Anthony how I felt and I think it just did not come out that way. I got a little emotional um, and that's all I remember. I just tried to tell him how I felt. Um, yeah, I don't know what's coming out of He probably was super confused, like what? One, I was very confused what you were saying. <laughs> and, but I knew what you were about to get at because I'd see like you were throwing hits, mm -hmm. so I knew you were, you were getting at, and I was kind of dreading it because when you told me that one time that that last time that you weren't doing the relationship thing, like that ship sailed for me. Mm -hmm. That ship sailed. I was like, I'm good. It was very good, and I was okay with being friends with the tiny bit of benefits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was okay with that, and um. When you were sharing, I was kind of like, oh God, here we go. Here we go, it's the wrong time. And I was kind of really interested in someone else. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is just not it, you know what I mean? And then she was kind of communicating like really badly. And so I was just like, okay, yeah, no. I mean, it was, it was just a lot for me because I've never, you know, been vulnerable. Yeah. Vulnerable. Yeah. Vulnerable. <laughs> Got it. Uh, with anyone before opening up my heart to anyone and um, especially for Anthony I've never never did that so that was very very new for me and hard for me yeah it was yeah it was very interesting and so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good word for it yeah and so the next night was my housewarming mm -hmm. I had just bought my first home yes and so my housewarming was the next day and um the girl that I was actually talking to, uh, mostly, <laughs> she ended up not being able to come. She ended up not coming for whatever reason, mind you. Like, it was a really packed day because I had the housewoman and then I had to preach to the football team right before um, the housewarming and a little bit into the housewarming. So I'm late and I'm getting this text message, text message from her saying she ain't coming. All this, she had come because her friend's waiting at the house, something silly. And I was like, oh, bet, like, you're not going to come to my house with me. This is like one of the biggest moments of my life. Why wouldn't you celebrate this with me? So I was kind of like, well, oh, that's a dub. You know what I mean? And it's over for that. And I get to my house with me and, and I walk in my, and people are there. It's great. I'm saying hi to everybody, doing my thing, mm -hmm. you know. And then I walk into the kitchen with this box of, like, all of my favorite things, like my favorite kind of gummy beers, like mm -hmm. down to the brand and the kind, like my like gift cards and mugs. And it's like a, this camel jacket that I really liked, like underneath and like, it was so well put together. And it was the color scheme of my house. It was just like, yo, I was like, who gave this? That's my boy T. I was like, yo, who, who, who brought this? And he was like, Kara. And I was like, Oh wow! Oh wow! Mm -hmm. I was like, oh wow. Well, thank you, Kiara. And so I was get back to doing my thing. And that night, I was like jumped by a bunch of my friends, um, all saying the same thing, and that was, give Kiara a shot, give her another shot, and I was just like. Oh man, and I knew I had always had a great time with her. I knew we were like, like really good friends. Like it was always a good time, but I just was like, ah oh, man. And so they're trying to sell me on it, and I'm like, all right, fine. I mean, they didn't have to do much selling. They had to do a lot of selling. <laughs> I did a lot of selling. My boy Mike sat in my room and like talked to me for I don't know how long, and then my boy Adrian hit me up the day after. Like about Kira, like yo, she's cool people's man. You should give her a shot, kind of thing. And so that night, I mean that day, that morning, I asked you to the fair. Yes, and what's so funny about this is that after the housewarming, you know, I went home and I prayed. I was like, God, like, 
you know, if this is meant to be, like if Anthony are supposed to be a thing, like just let him ask me to the state fair, which is, you know, it may seem something like so small, but for me that was something big, like this is a sign, like this is something real. And um, I was like, you know, I really want to go. And sure enough, the next day, um, Anthony, he FaceTimed me. Yeah. Yep. And he's like, yeah, what's like, you're gonna go to the fair later? I was like, yeah. <laughs> And, um, I mean, from then, we just... Yeah, that night, it was a night, like, it was our first time, like, Our out. first date. And that day, I was <laughs> just like, it well, wasn't no first date. It was our first date. All that money I spent. No <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we, we went out, and that night, I was like, yo, this is my girl. Like, that was my girlfriend that night to me. She was my girlfriend. Um, which she didn't find out till a few days later when she when I she was talking about her mom and I was like, Oh, have you told her we're official? And she was like, Who who made that decision? Mm. I said me. <laughs> and then she goes Alright, no. <laughs> exactly. She was like, I like when you tell me what to do. I didn't say that. <laughs> ah, yes you did. That's not me. Yes you did. <laughs> That's why you're my baby. Yeah. Yeah.